guys today we'll be talking about how to use a sextant to measure celestial angles sextants can be used to measure different kind of angles that includes vertical sextant angles horizontal sextant angles as well as celestial body altitudes the topic for today we only focus on celestial body altitudes taking a celestial body altitude is very similar to taking a vertical sextant angle a celestial body altitude actually measures the angle between the celestial body and the horizon it's very similar to that of a lighthouse when we measure the angle between the lighthouse and the horizon if we take the top of the lighthouse and the angle that it makes with the sea level the principle of a sextant is that whenever we measure an angle we measure it at sea level so that the angles can be used to plot the ship's position or the observer's position on the surface of the earth so if you look at a celestial body we are using the sextant basically to measure the angle between the celestial body and the horizon you can see with the red arrow i have shown you the angle that it makes considering the surface of the earth we basically bring down the celestial body at sea level and try to measure the angle in such a way that it can be used in future to plot the observer's position at sea I could have gone out and taken a video on how to use a sextant to measure the celestial angle but then I would not have been able to show you what it looks like from the observer's eyes for that reason only I have used a powerpoint presentation to show you for those of you who have never ever taken a sextant sight you can visualize what actually goes through the observer's eyes when he's taking or she is taking a sextant sight of a celestial body altitude as you can see here you basically keep the sextant at 0 degrees and 0 minutes and as you start moving the sextant you basically try to bring the celestial body onto the horizon once it is at the horizon you just give the sextant a gentle rock of your hand to make sure that it forms an arc with the horizon once again you can see what is happening here you break keep it at 0 degrees and 0 minutes bring the celestial body down at to the horizon make sure that the body is just kissing the horizon the lower limb of the sun is just kissing the horizon we use the word kissing the horizon that means it's just making a tangential arc to the horizon once the body is at the horizon you gently rock the hand to make sure when the body is just making an arc with the horizon this is more clear in the next slide as you can see once it is near the horizon you bring it lower enough just for it to gently touch the horizon and not clearly go below the horizon so just rock the sextant till the time you see the celestial body doing this just kissing the horizon once you see this happening this is the time you know doubt the sextant angle in degrees minutes or in seconds and note down the time of observation just a few precautions before i end the video tour for today make sure that all your sextant errors are corrected so that there are no additional errors in it you should be aware of your index error and include it in your calculations don't overdo the shades on the sextant when you're taking a sextant sight especially for a sun the sun could be bright and you need to use shades but don't overdo the shades the more shades you introduce the more chances of error creeping in into your readings are there always start from the left and then move over to the dark shade over the sun we are talking about the shades that you use on the sextant and finally bring down the celestial body slowly and eventually evenly sorry take your time and make sure that you get an accurate position for the observer on the ship thank you i am